I think it's really special that this powerless girl, you know, throughout the movie finds her power, which is leadership, and gets to lead this incredible team of powerful kids. Hey, it's Kristen, and today I'm sharing an interview with Yaya Goslin and Vivian Lyra Blair of We Can Be Heroes. Enjoy! One of the things I really loved about this film is that we're following superheroes, but also seeing the power that people without super abilities have to change the world. What was it like for you playing this role? It was incredible. I think, um, I mean, I was so honored to be able to get to play this role, but I think it's really cool that, you know, people and kids my age get to see this character that doesn't have any powers, and also kids that aren't popular and don't fit in wherever they are because honestly to tell you to tell you the truth I don't really fit it fit in either I'm a little different and so I think it's really special that this powerless girl you know throughout the movie finds her power which is leadership and gets to lead this incredible team of powerful kids that's a great great message of just being able to find that power within you and embracing being a little bit different, because everybody's a little bit different. For you, Vivian, what was it like playing the daughter of the iconic Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Taylor Julie was so nice, and so was JJ Dashnai. He was amazing. He's also the stunt coordinator, so for the first few days, I saw a lot of him. And learning that he was going to play my dad was so amazing. I understand it. My mommy is Lava Girl, but my dad is Shark Boy, so instead of lava, I move water. It really was amazing, and even though most of it was special effects, I could still imagine what it would look like, and that was the best part, being able to imagine for myself. Now, what was it like for both of you working on the set with the cast and the crew? Were there any funny stories or any lessons that you learned? I learned so much on this film. Like, I feel like I'm prepared for life now. Um, but I think, yeah, there were so many funny stories. Um, there was a really funny story of when we were shooting a scene and there was this part where Guppy had to get really excited because I said, Guppy, shark frenzy. And she had to get like really excited. And so she was kind of going like, and so Robert, after our after a few takes, whispered to me, next time say Avocado Smash, because there was this board game that her and Robert loved to play called Avocado Smash, and it just made her so happy. And so I said, Guppy, Avocado Smash, and she goes, and like, was so excited, and it was so funny, because just to see her reaction, because she didn't know that I was going to do that, was really funny. Oh, that's hilarious. So what is this Avocado Smash game? It's a game where you have a deck of cards, and your goal is to get rid of all of your cards. It's a three-card smash! Or if there's a guacamole, you um, go, what? It sounds very fun. Well, congratulations, guys, on the film. I know so many people are going to love watching it on Christmas Day. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Happy holidays. If you like this one, you can check out more of my We Can Be Heroes videos right over here, and I will catch you in my next one. See ya.